Hey everybody, we are back for, sorry I touched my mic right there, but we're back for some Isaac. It has been quite a while since I've streamed, I think like seven months or something. Um, it's been it's been a weird time. I had a, a few months where I just kind of didn't feel like streaming, but also was trying to focus on uh, kind of a high effort video that I was working on and uh, kind of trying to put the time that I would be streaming towards that video instead because I think it would have been a, a pretty good video but uh, haven't been able to finish that because I don't have access to that computer at the moment um, it's the same computer that I normally streamed on so I also don't have access to my normal streaming setup um, not that there was you know a ton going on there but don't have my you know normal start screen and my settings and stuff so might be a little bit scuffed more scuffed than usual this stream um, but hopefully for more streams uh, in the future I will you know iron it out a little bit you know I'm not planning on obsessing too much about the you know quality of my streams you know at least not as much as I was before um, I think I got a little bit too in my head about like, you know, how my streams and videos were doing, um, but I really should have just been trying to enjoy it, so I'm just going to be trying to do that more. Uh, but yeah, still hopefully we'll get things set up a little better on this different computer so I can uh, be a little bit, a little bit more professional at least. But uh, for today, we're just going to be hanging out, playing a little bit of Isaac. going to be pretty short. Because uh, I just wanted to get back to streaming a little bit. I've, I've missed it. And haven't really been doing a lot. I, I think I just peaked my mic. Kind of got to only bump my... I tried to do some audio mixing before the stream. But uh, I suck at audio mixing. So I know that it will probably not be great. But I will uh, watch the VOD afterwards and I will, you know, try to see how I can improve that for the future as well. And uh, yeah, now I just want to kind of hang out, play some Isaac. have not been playing a lot of Isaac lately. Uh, I did play on my Switch. I, I played a decent amount a couple months ago, but I haven't really been playing much lately. Uh, I did a little bit of the online beta with Emma. It was pretty fun. But just like single player, really haven't been doing much. So I'm probably going to be pretty rusty. And I don't even remember where we left off. I don't even know how long it's been since I've streamed Isaac. Um, so I don't know what I even want to do here. But uh, I think is there anything else I want to talk about first? Um, yeah, I guess I was kind of saying that I just kind of wanted to get back into streaming. Um, I'm missing it and. I really haven't had a lot to do uh, in general, so I've, you know, think streaming here and there is a good thing to occupy myself with and, you know, just have some fun, play some games, so, um, I really feel like I should have Tainted Lilith done, I think that my save might have glitched, I don't want to Say that for sure. Why am I yawning so much? What the heck? I feel like that always happens when I stream. I don't know why. Um. Yeah, maybe we could do Tainted Lilith. I think I probably did at least some of these marks in the past, and it might have gotten a little wonky with my save, but it's fine. I don't mind playing Tainted Lilith. I think she's a fun character, so, uh. I usually go for Grittier first, but I really want to play Grittier on my return stream. I guess I'll I'll do I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. It's Tainted Lilith, so I mean she's a very strong character. So I'm gonna be doing Grittier on a return stream with anybody. Might as well. Uh, that is a very bad starting item. Could have been worse. 
got a car battery. That is a very good thing to get in uh, greed mode because you get a lot of charges. Could be very good if we got a good space bar item. I'm also using a different headset. Um, very different headset from what I have normally always used to stream. Excuse me, so. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be. Uh, got a bot. Let me just do. Da, da, da. Get that out. Okay. How do I get this off my screen now? Okay, well that works. Uh, okay. I have, uh, yeah, I have the chat on stream set up. I did that yesterday. I like having that in the stream. I haven't set up like follower notifications or anything like that. Um, but that, uh, something that I will work on setting up again, just kind of, I really wasn't, you know, worried about setting up a ton of stuff for this stream, because I know it's going to be very short and probably scuffed no matter what I do, so I just kind of wanted to get the basic stuff set up as best I could and then just kind of hang out, not really worry too much. But yeah, it feels good to be back to streaming. It's been been a while, and I missed it. It's just very very nice thing for me to just hang out and play a game and talk to myself for a little while. Sometimes talk to people who come and hang out. It's always nice have been uh okay that's pretty good or is it i don't know i wasn't reading the description very closely but it's not bad yeah i've been i've been uh playing games a decent amount in my free time uh not a ton but i have been i've been playing uh Kingdom Hearts, which is a series that I've been meaning to get into for a long time. I finally, with my free time, I decided that I'm going to do it. So I played through Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, Final Mix, I played through Rechain of Memories, and now I'm on Kingdom Hearts 2, and I have been really enjoying it actually a lot. Um, Kingdom Hearts 1, I think, was little wonky I mean it wasn't bad it had a lot of charm for sure it also had some frustrating points um, Reach of memories I think was surprisingly good I've heard bad things about it I really I, I enjoyed it and then Kingdom Hearts 2 has been like super great and I am still just yawning and I don't know why but that's just how I am, I guess. I don't know. That Kingdom Hearts 2 has been super good. Been really enjoying that. I'm playing on Critical because I heard that that was like the most fun way to play because you kind of gotta, you know, really think about how you're fighting and you know strategize and learn. And I definitely have been feeling that a lot less you know in Kingdom Hearts uh, 1 I kind of just got away with running around in circles you know getting a few hits and then using cure rinse and repeat until I eventually won um, which might have been why I didn't really have as much fun with Kingdom Hearts 1 but Kingdom Hearts 2 I've I've been getting smacked around a decent amount for sure 
Okay, we're gonna go for angel rooms. Because I do not have an amount of health that I would want to get a uh, devil deal. Glowing hourglass is pretty nice. Divorce papers are also good. Take that. And we really... I'm trying to suppress these yawns, but they're just... They're just coming, man. I don't know. Um, hopefully I'll get them all out on this return stream, and then it won't be... Uh, won't be yawning as much in other streams. We'll see. What was I even talking about? I think I was saying that we uh, are going to be on the lookout for any good spacebar items to go with our car battery. Especially anything that will give us HP. Be huge. Luckily our damage is decent enough because we're tainted Lilith, but soon we're going to want to get some damage upgrades because tainted Lilith's base damage can only carry you so far. Might hear the dogs barking. They're a little crazy. They like to bark at just about anything that comes within a half mile of vicinity of our house. But we love them. This monitor is so much bigger than the monitor I'm used to that it's just playing Isaac, it's like I feel like I'm watching a movie. Ooh. Is this a D1 or Eternal D6? That's Eternal D6. PhD could be good. I probably want to go for the Eternal D6 though. Probably the better option. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay, well. I don't know why I forgot that I had a glowing hourglass. That is my bad. But it's okay, we're still just warming up. It's gonna be a short stream, but I can still do couple greedier attempts. Greedier is pretty pretty short usually. Or if I'm getting annoyed at greedier I could uh, switch and go for some other mark. I don't think I really want the void. I'll take I'll take that the void rage is it's nice. Ooh. Actually I don't think that's very good for greed mode, but it's fine. Not gonna complain about some passive HP. I 
Unless it works. If it does work, every room charge that you get, like, for beating a wave of enemies, then it is good, but I don't know how it actually works with, uh, whoops, I don't know how it actually works with greed mode. I think items like that are kind of bad, but I could be wrong. I think maybe they could have changed it. I mean, I haven't been keeping an eye on patch notes or anything, so, yeah. I'll take this necklace, pearls, not experimental treatment, no thank you on that. I'll take this key, and then we'll fight whoever this will be, okay. Always nice when you get uh, one of the Envy special final bosses because it's just usually a lot easier than the normal final bosses you would get for the greed floors. That's, that's actually not bad for greedier mode because it's a good like AoE damager. Not gonna complain about that and I could use it to, never mind, I thought that broke blocks. Must be thinking of a different fart item. There are so many. Okay, I think the relic actually probably is pretty good. I might have might have been misjudging it. Which is good for us. I would like to build up a lot of HP without having to spend much money on it. Yeah, I, uh, I don't really have any... Hi Emma, how are you doing? Thank you for coming to watch this stream. Thank you for letting me use your setup to stream I'm using Emma's computer and headset and stuff, so. Very thankful to her. Yeah, this is a greed moment. I don't have any bombs, unfortunately. Well, I appreciate it. I don't know what I'm hoping to get here. I'll just take this key. We have a decent enough setup already. Can kind of hold on to some money and hope for something better. Don't want to fall into the, the greed mode trap of trying to reroll over and over and just spending a bunch of money, not really getting anything worthwhile out of it. Happens. Oh, I didn't know greed or the uh, Gertie Jr. was spawning all these flies. Good thing I didn't get hit by them. Very close. Yeah, I don't really have any uh, solid plans at the moment for how often or how much I'll be streaming. I would like to do like a couple streams a week, um, but it's probably just going to be depending on you know what I got going on, how I'm feeling and stuff. Uh, and yeah, um, I don't want to make any like promises or anything because that'll just make me feel bad about not living up to that. But. It, yeah, I think uh, it'd be nice to just stream here and there, have some some good times. And uh, in terms of what I want to stream, I feel like I want to do like some speedrunning. I've been watching a good amount of speedrunning videos, and I've always I've always had interest in speedrunning. I just it's a pretty time-consuming thing to be investing into. Um, 
but I would like to do... would like to find a game to grind. I was thinking maybe Momodora. Um, cause I, I played it actually on stream like two years ago. And it's, it's a fun, cute little game and I actually did a little bit of speedrunning in my own time and I was getting pretty decent. So, you know, I just think, uh, you know, I already know the run to an extent. It's a pretty short run. Uh, so, you know, it might be a nice thing to just kind of ease my way into speedrunning by doing uh, something like that. Um, but I don't know, there are plenty of games that I think would be fun to speedrun. So a lot of them are like very competitive, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's cool that, you know, a game have an active speedrunning community. It's just like, you know, to some extent I want to try playing a game where it's like, you know, it wouldn't take me a thousand hours to even get in the top a hundred, you know. Red stew, interesting. Would like to get that a little bit later. There's nothing here is really appealing to me. BFF though, oh, I don't know, 15 cents, whoops. I don't know if BFF affects my, my like default fetus guy, but they will affect my relic, which is good either way. And my uh, my seven seals, harbingers. So, I'm not gonna turn up my nose at that. BFF is pretty much always a great item if you have any decent familiars, which I do. Yeah, I wanna uh, try some speed running. I think that'd be cool. I wanna uh, I would like to do like some Pokemon, maybe like Iron Mon, uh, or like a Nuzlocke of some kind. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. That's what happens when I try to talk, especially when I'm rusty. Um, yeah, like something with Pokemon would be cool. I love Pokemon, and I haven't really streamed it very much. I haven't been playing it much either. Um, then like... What else was I thinking about? Uh, getting back to Persona. I was really enjoying Persona 4. Uh, so I would like to get back to that. At some point. Again, that's like a very big time investment game, so, you know, maybe be a game where really every so often if I have a few hours, you know, to stream, I'll do like a, a longer Persona stream, and then, you know, other streams where I don't have as much time, I would, uh, you know, play something else. Sounds like a good plan, but, yeah, I'm really not, like, making any plans or, like, trying to commit super hard to any sort of streaming schedule or anything, just kind of talking about things I'm interested in streaming. Just because I like to uh, talk about things that I think would be fun. Anything else? I mean, just like random games that I haven't played yet, you know, I just like to experience games on, on stream. I have to get back to Gloomwood. And some other games that I started on stream but never played more of. I have to do Jump King. That's uh, something I gotta get around to eventually. Can't keep avoiding it. This could actually be pretty good because we wanna get Angel Rooms, so. This 
is thankfully a pretty easy final boss for the floor, so take that. Ooh, holy water with BFF is really good. Really good. Love that. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can grab a key. Thank you. And we will be on our way. Let me check my OBS, make sure no dropped frames, that's good. No uh, encoding issues as far as I can see, so cool. Let me take a quick sip of water. Okay. So this run is, is going pretty well. I do think we are going to need a bit more before I can really be confident about it being, uh, about it winning against Ultra Greedier, but it's definitely not a bad run. Uh,. Normally I would be super excited about getting 3 cent soul hearts, but we're already getting so many soul hearts with the relic that I don't really feel like I need to uh, invest money into them. Uh, yeah, my, I don't know, I feel like I just kind of got to start getting items. I just don't have a lot. Yeah, look at the work that the holy water puts in with uh, with BFF. It just like just obliterates things. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Do I really want this speed? I mean, sure. I probably want that. Probably do want that, because we need some damage. HP is not going to do us wrong either. Ooh, hello, Mr. Fred. Go Harbingers, do my DPS for me. I, sh I should just be focusing on landing the Holy Water, that's really where my damage is going to be coming from. More than anything else. Okay, yeah, I'll get this large mushroom. Good. 
Yeah, once we get them into their second phase and then we can just land a holy water on them, they're just done. Okay, nice. Ooh, mind invade retro. Okay, yeah, I guess for once I'll take Vade Retro because the mine really doesn't do much for us on greed mode. So I don't, just don't think it's worth it. Vade Retro could actually be pretty decent. I mean, we're going to have a lot of, you know, enemies in a room. We could just get a lot of the ghosts and then uh, detonate them. Should work out pretty decent. Might be the first time I've ever actually used Vade Retro on purpose. So... Kind of cool. Okay, I'm taking a little more damage than I would like to be taking. Relic is here to carry us. Thankfully. Ow, I don't know what hit me. Oh, what the heck. Okay. I'm taking so much damage, I need to relax. much. Hello Krampus. Whole bunch of Krampuses. Spear of Destiny, I feel like you're just not good. I don't know. Anytime I get Spear of Destiny, it just feels like it doesn't do anything. So, I'll pass. We want the restock. I feel like the lover is actually going to be more helpful for us because it's actually give us HP to help survive against Ultra Greedier. Restock machine is less important, I feel like. But maybe I'm throwing. I do a little bit of throwing. I'm known for it. Also, Emma, if you're still here, um, let me know how the audio is, because you know, I've tried to do a little bit of balancing out myself, but I am kind of winging it, so I don't know how it sounds. Okay, buddy. Did not mean to walk on that. Like, 90% of the time that you will ever step on those spikes in Greedier, especially. Well, I don't know, Greedier, you're kind of more likely to do it on purpose because the enemy spawns are just so, like, insane. But I feel like most of the time, in this game mode anyway, um, that you step on those spikes is by accident. Because you just, like, forget they're there or you're just, like, accidentally are dodging out of the way of something else. And it just happens. 
I know that's definitely the case for me. I don't know about other people, but I just feel like I'm always accidentally walking out of those spikes. Never on purpose. Vage Retro is kind of put in work, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of working. I actually am gonna take this because we kind of need the HP and the tears is not bad either. Uh, get the max tier rate, I guess. We don't need that because we are at max. But I'll take that. Alright, I think we have a pretty decent setup for uh, Ultra Grittier. It's might be rough, it's hard to say, but uh, I think Rage Retro is going to help by letting us uh, detonate all his little guys. Though I'm not sure how that'll work with his boss armor. I feel like it might just do like nothing. But we'll have to see. Try our best. don't succeed, we'll just try again. I think they're going pretty well, we've only taken one hit. So this is definitely the easiest part of the fight before he starts, you know, going super crazy and his boss armor like skills up I think. So just play it safe. Maybe his armor doesn't change. I thought I thought I got stronger as the fight goes, but I could be wrong. Either way, uh, holy water is putting in work because I think blue fire is just like ignore boss armor or at least are able to do damage very good through boss armor regardless, so that is nice. This is going much better than I expected. But this guy is a real jerk, so I'm not letting our guard down against him. damage from the holy water. It's good stuff. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Haven't even been able to move barely because we keep freezing him with the holy water. And 
Nice. We even have a little bit of change to, uh, I guess I didn't get that done already, so. Nice achievement. Another one in the books. And we can actually donate a little bit of money to the greed machine. Not that it really matters, but we can do it. Cool. It took a couple of tries, got a nice grittier win, and we got a new achievement. So, it's good stuff. And how long have I been streaming? 43 minutes. Okay, I could probably do... I could probably go for another run. Might have to maybe cut it short. Depending on uh, how long it's taking, but I could uh, could play a little bit more. Oh, but I actually should uh, take a quick break. I gotta do some laundry, so I will be back in just a few minutes. And thank you, anybody who is watching the stream or the VOD, and I will see you soon.
Hi, I'm back. Sorry, that took a little bit longer than I expected. But we're gonna get back into a little bit of Isaac. With some tainted Lilith. Let's try to get her done, I guess. What do we have to do? We gotta do... Uh, Mother... Delirium, Hush, and the Beast. Okay. What are those do I actually want to go for on this run, though? Good question. Guess I'll see how the run is going and figure it out. It's not like I need to make a commitment super early. With Tinted Lilith, I shouldn't have any issue going fast enough to make it to Hush. Unless I'm, like, really doing something. Um trying to break the game or something, which I don't see happening. that I actually unmuted because I know I have screwed that up in the past. Okay, looks like I am not muted. Good. Ooh, a nice uh, tinted rock. Almost got hit by that fly. That would have been a little embarrassing. is actually good or not. See how I feel about it. It's a pretty decent start. Worm friend is, you know, he's alright. PJs are very nice. I'm feeling pretty good about this run at the moment. Curse of the Maze on basement two, sure. Get it out of the way now. Have I done Mega Satan? I have, okay. Pretty big seller too. Okay, there's the boss. Probably won't finish this run in this stream, probably. Unless it's like super fast run. But see how far I go. Uh I don't think we can take double deals, we have a lot of HP. And uh okay, yeah, that's uh it's quite worth it I would say. Especially to get on floor two. I mean that is uh, a lot of black hearts in our future. The Azazel thing. Not sure how I feel about it. Oh, okay, let's be careful about these spikes. I mean, it can give us flights. So I feel like it's, it's worth keeping it around until we find a better trinket. Even if it is a little bit awkward. 
That is definitely not something we want, but we'll grab it. See if we got anything good in our shop here. We got some money from that secret room. Deep pockets would be nice. Okay, this little thing kind of screwed me over right there. I'm a little peeved about it. Oh, I can try this. Darn it. Alright, well, I guess I'll just buy Soul Heart and uh, we'll be on our way. Not a big deal. I kind of don't like the Azazel thing because it's like messing with my my guy, so I'm sorry. Azazel stump, but uh, not feeling it. As a different character, I'd be more into it, but just not really vibing with how it affects my little guy. I like him to be operating in a consistent manner. Tarot cloth is very good. I'd like to have that. If I could just get a couple of cents. That is not at all what I wanted. But I will get some charges. So we'll uh, take that. I don't know how this affects Tainted Lilith. Oh, okay, that's good. It's actually, it's quite nice. Okay. It's a little weird. Sometimes uh, certain items can kind of ruin Tainted Lilith a little bit, so... Glad to see that this is not one of them. Seriously, we didn't get any money. No, we didn't want, don't want stump, man. No stump. Okay, well, no tarot cloth, I guess, unless we get some money from the boss or a 
Maybe a double room. It's unfortunate. A little sad about it. Really like tarot cloth. Yeah, okay, I guess, uh, no tarot cloth for us. It's alright. Still got a good run going. Cursed Blind is a little rough. that room without taking a hit but at least I didn't take a hit from the chubby guys because they would have done a whole heart okay very fun spider moment Oh, we get both. Cool. Well, that's those are items that have a very good synergy together. What the heck are the odds of that? All right. I mean, I guess we always have that option in our back pocket. Like, uh, hold on. It to, well, we'll find a room with enemies that are more aggressive towards actually trying to hug me and then we can farm up a little bit of money from that. Here we go. Whoops, I mean to do that. Nice. Well, I think our uh, our financial problems are settled. I don't think we'll be worrying about that anymore. Unfortunately, we missed out on some good stuff that I wanted to buy, but at least we're set on money now, I think. Of course, we get Mr. Greed in the shop as soon as we actually have the money to buy things. Always oh, gotta be like that. He's just not a nice man. The exact same room, what the heck? Is that back to back or is that. No, it's just. One separating them though, that's a little, uh, a little weird. Come get me. Yeah, an odd leaf is a pretty balanced item, I would say. I like sulfur, but it is not worth getting rid of uh, Satanic Bible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all sulfur enjoyers, but we just need that HP. Plus, sulfur would be a lot better if they didn't 
nerf Brimstone so much. But, uh, it is what it is. I don't know how likely these guys are to actually walk into me. Yeah, I don't know. They just kind of do their own thing. Feels like they hit you on accident more than they do on purpose. Okay, nice soul heart. I'll probably do this floor and then I will call it a day. We'll pick up this run next time. I was only planning on streaming for about an hour. We were already over an hour, so I think it's about time. We're not on. Okay, yeah, we're on depth one. That's good. Build up as much HP as I can. We're gonna get a devil room. Yeah, we uh, will take that. Take this, take this, get you, okay, I'll be back for that battery as soon as I get a charge. baby to go with our our technology we kind of have two robo babies because our our default guy is also shooting technology so nice little robo family you know single mother but we, we respect that we support that This is a cool idea for a trinket, but it's so situational. Not that I'm like complaining, because I mean I I think it's a you know, good idea anyway. It's just it's just unfortunate that it's so situational because I wish I could use it more because it's a cool trinket, but yeah.
boss time. Let's see. We got a fight. Gish, not bad. Take Gish over Matsuru too. Most of the time. Got a little gish. We got Gimpy. Uh, the altar I don't really want to use. An Abyss. Abyss actually I might want to take. Because we already have a good amount of HP. We're going to have Gimpy. Uh, yeah, I, I like the Abyss. We'll, we'll go with that. I cannot take the little gish though. Unfortunately I will have to pass. I can make a locust out of whatever item is in here. Nice. Still have default damage, which is something I would like to improve on soon. But I'm still doing pretty good. Honestly, taking Abyss over the Satanic Bible is probably a little bit of a throw, but I like Abyss a lot, so I, uh, I'm taking the risk. But that is going to be all from me for today. Good stream. Got, uh, got our grittier mark done with Mrs. Tainted Lilith, and, uh, Got a pretty decent run going for one of the other completion marks. Have to decide that next time. But, uh, yeah. Um, it's a nice return stream. Looking forward to streaming more in the future. Hopefully, um, probably going to try to stream again sometime this week. Maybe Thursday or maybe on the weekend. I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah. Um, Thank you anybody who watched the stream or the VOD. Hope you all have a good rest of your day or night. Um, yeah. Thank you again. And I will see you next time.